GDC 2020 is coming up. This micro talk is for students and indies who are looking to get the most out of it. Stick around till the end for some of the insider information, the kind of stuff that you only find out after you've been going to GDC for quite a while. Uh, before that, though, let's go over some of the basics. First of all, determine why you're going. Um, is it for networking, job hunting, pitching a game, or are you just looking to find out more about the industry? If you're going for networking and job hunting, there's going to be several network lounges throughout uh, the, the conference halls that you can kind of just meet people and talk to them, learn from their experience. Some of them require a specific kind of pass to get in. Um, if you don't have that, there's plenty of other areas where people are congregating um, that are specifically set aside for networking. Uh, the next thing to look up is the GDC Connect webpage. Uh, you can go fill out your profile and you can set up meetings with specific people. Um, also, on GDC Connect, there's a button at the top for uh, mentoring. Uh, the mentoring tab allows you to have one-on-one -on -one discussions with industry people. Uh, those are all going to be full by now, but if you go and sign up, you can still attend some of the Q&A sessions. You're going to be able to get a lot of practical advice uh, for your career, and you'll be able to get info from industry vets, and they can point you in the right way. You'll get a chance to ask some questions and stuff like that. Um, students, you should look into the Game Career Seminar. It takes place on Friday the 20th. It's going to be about 85 bucks. You pay right there. Um, you also need a student ID, and you need to be older than 18 to get in. There's going to be HR reps from companies there. You can learn from them, ask them questions, give you a chance to drop off some of your materials, give them your card, your resume, stuff like that. Um, but you can do that kind of all over the convention, right? There's places that are going to do portfolio reviews. Um, they're going to give you information on the available positions. A lot of companies have booths set up there specifically for recruiting. Um, a lot of those booths are just manned by uh, conference staff, so they might not be able to give you any useful information except maybe a handout and collect your card and your information. <clears throat> um, but sometimes there'll be actual company representatives there, and you can ask them a lot of questions about the available positions, what the company's like. Um, try not to take up too much of their time. There's going to be a lot of people around. Make sure um, you know you have your resume or you have your card and you can drop something off for them. Uh, if you do get a card, make sure to follow up. Uh, it's really important to follow up with those people, especially if you're looking for a job. Um, if you're pitching a game, if you're going as an indie, you have your, your game set and you want to pitch it, set up your meetings right now. As soon as you're done with this video, look at the publishers and the funding sources um, that you're interested in speaking to and just get on it immediately because those slots are going to fill up really quick. Uh, have your pitch deck and have your game demo ready. Pitch deck is just a, a fancy word for a PowerPoint. You can find plenty of places online that show you how to make a video game pitch deck. Look them up. Make a really good one. Uh, practice your pitch and have something worth showing. If you're too early, you're just wasting everybody's time, including your own and the representative from whatever publisher or funder that you're looking to speak with. Uh, instead of doing that, set up a five-minute meet and greet with them and go to them. Go to where they are. Uh, introduce yourself, your company. Tell them you plan to pitch them in the future. Um, ask what they prefer to see in a pitch and um, ask them about their portfolio focus to see if your game lines up with where they're taking their portfolio of games, uh, what they're planning to publish and what kind of games their audience prefers to buy from them. Exchange cards, thank them, and leave. Um, if you're just looking to learn about the industry, poof, that's what this video is for. You're learning right now. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, speak to people. Ask what they do. Ask if you can follow them on social media uh, or connect with them on LinkedIn and learn from their posts and learn from what they do. Uh, just some general advice about the convention. This is not a dating convention. Don't be a creep. You're not here for that. This is a professional convention. Uh, you know, don't dress like a slob, wear deodorant, reapply as needed, make sure you're staying professional, uh, be courteous and respectful of everybody there, and make sure to uh, abide by all the rules that they have set up throughout the conference so everybody has a good time and they can learn from each other. Making connections can happen anywhere. There's all these places where you can get uh, donuts, coffee, bagels, stuff like that. You'll run into people online who are interesting to talk to. Uh, you know, say hello. Like For example, be the first person to say hello. Hi, I'm Peter. It's my first time here. What do you guys do? Uh, it's a great way to, to meet people, um, ask them for tips and advice, information that's pertinent to you and potentially within their wheelhouse. Um, tell them, you know, I'd love to connect on LinkedIn. I'd love to learn from you and exchange cards. Now, some of the juicy stuff I told you I'd get to. Uh, the actual business of GDC does not take place on the show floor. 
Um, most of that is happening in meeting rooms or um, in hotels like the Marriott. Um, your chances for doing networking are probably going to go sky high at the parties and uh, the events that are surrounding the convention. Uh, the sessions generally are not worth the cost if you're going for the first time. Um, there's a lot of people talking about proprietary technology or proprietary processes. Sometimes it feels like an advertisement for the company that's doing it, um, even though it's not called an ad, it's not a sponsored session or anything. So you might want to just save your money for now. And if there's something that you're really interested in checking out, uh, you know, look for it online or look for it in the future. Your business cards. Get business cards, first of all, but make sure that they're on matte paper. And the reason that they need to be on matte is so that you can write little notes on them. When you have a discussion with someone, you can put a note on the card and, you know, hand it to them. This is what we discussed. So later on, when they go home, they'll remember who you were. They'll remember what you talked about. Make sure to get their card and follow up with them. Keep in mind, everyone is going to be over glad and over impressed by everything you say and everything you show. Uh, this is not real. This is the conference high. Um, no one is as impressed or as glad as they seem. Be aware and don't take any off-the-cuff remarks as a promise or actual interest. But keep in mind, GDC is the beginning. It's the beginning for a lot of things. You have to follow up, be humble, and don't give up. I plan to do a couple more micro talks. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Peter Cajesta. And check out the links below for uh, information on cool games and projects I'm working on. Thanks a lot, guys. See you at the show.